What is going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lions Den located in Hatfield, PA off of Route 309. So if you're in the area, check out the Mecca, the best on the East Coast, baby. Westside Barbell, who? Just kidding. They're pretty strong. But in this video, we're going to be talking about the number one, the premier, the top, my first choice when it comes to squat variations that everybody needs to be doing. I'm talking about my grandma, my dog, I'm talking about bodybuilders, strongmen, powerlifters, weightlifters. Every single person needs to be doing the squat variation. And the added bonus is it may fix your marital problems. I don't know, maybe. But we're gonna be a little fun here, okay? We're gonna play the squat wheel of squats. So let's get it going. Could it be number one, the front squat? Could it be number two, the SSB squat? Oof, what a fine squat that is. Could it be number three, the tempo squat? Ah, spicy. Could it be number four, the box squat? Oh, baby! I'm gonna let you guys think about it while we play the Wheel of Fortune song, and I squat 650. The guesses are in, the guesses are in. <laughs> and if you said SSB squat, you are wrong. If you said the tempo squat, you are correct. It is the tempo squat. All right, let's get serious for a minute. Everybody should be doing tempo squats. Why? Why not, first of all? I love the tempo squats and I always throw them in my programming because of a numerous amount of reasons which we're gonna cover right now. So the first one is technique, right off the bat. If you have trouble with your technique in the tempo squat, one of the best things you can do is slow it down and go into slow-mo, baby. It's gonna help you break down the points of performance with the squat. It's gonna let you have more of a mind-muscle connection with the squat, and it's gonna help loosen up your body. So if you have issues with your mobility when it comes to getting depth or your ankles, et cetera, all these problems will be fixed by adding in tempo squats. Now, when it comes to strength, duh, if you can do 315 for a set of five with a three count tempo, it's only gonna make you stronger long-term when it comes to just doing things normal speed, okay? So I love using them when it comes to strength training and they do make you stronger. So if you wanna throw that variation in on a second or third day of your regular strength programming, you should. Now I know what you're saying, bodybuilders, who cares about them? Well, I do because I've been training like a bodybuilder for the last several months, okay? And I'll tell you this, when you add a tempo in, ooh, does it give you that time under tension, baby, and your legs are gonna be burning like you just took some wasabi and you rubbed it in because you thought that it was Tiger Bomb, but it wasn't, and it's going straight into the blood of the legs. So throw it in there uh, for more time under tension, okay? You're getting in essentially more volume, uh, and it's just gonna build that burn in the legs. So if you're a bodybuilder, you can add tempo to honestly anything, all the normal barbell movements, but you can also do it to your hack squats or any machine variation if you're focusing on your legs. Just add in a slower tempo and let those legs burn like a fire from hell. Now, strong man, right? Well, obviously we need to have really strong legs, but I'll tell you this too. In some events, you need to have endurance when it comes to your legs. So by adding in that tempo, it's gonna have a double benefit of one, making you stronger, of course, but then two, building your work capacity up for the leg. So when you have events uh, like carries or sled drags, et cetera, we want to have any sort of exercise that can help benefit those. So tempo is just another thing to throw in there that's only going to help increase the endurance uh, or strength endurance of your legs. Last one I'm going to add. You know, we're training pretty hard, okay? Maybe we get a little dinged up, get some aches and pains, okay? Because this happens when you're trying to be a beast. It's inevitable. Your time will come. Uh, but this is gonna be a nice variation that you can throw in there to kind of slow things down a little bit, not go as heavy, uh, but still put the work in. So on days that maybe I have, you know, achy knees or knee tendonitis, or I've just been going heavy for a long time, I like to slow things down, throw in some tempo squats where it still lets me accumulate a good amount of volume without having a large amount of weight on uh, my back. So that is it for the tempo squat. You all should be doing tempo squats. And if you're not, you're dumb. You're just dumb and you failed the, the squat class and you cannot pass go and collect 300 on your back squat. That's just the truth of it. Everyone should be tempo squatting at least 
uh, as one of your variations that you have in your programming. Maybe it's gonna be your second or third day if you're squatting multiple days a week, or if you're just squatting once a week, throw in tempos and try it out. Uh, you're gonna have a huge bang for your buck with these bad boys, and it's gonna help improve everything. Strength, mobility, et cetera. And that's it. Make sure you subscribe. You should be subscribed. If you're not subscribed, I mean, like, what else are you doing on this channel? All right, have a great day. Stay in Lean Me Machine. Peace.